Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Fear the Walking Dead video. So, I want to talk about the Fear the Walking Dead mid-season finale, because it really does look like this episode is apparently two and a half hours long, which I really have a hard time believing, but it does seem to be legit. So, yeah, before going any further, obviously make sure to be a subscriber if you do want to get all my Fear the Walking Dead and just Walking Dead Universe content in general. Episode 5 of Fear the Walking Dead is airing tomorrow, so I'll do my review and trailer breakdown for that tomorrow. And then, obviously, next week we do have the finale, or the mid-season finale, and um, also at the same time, we have The Walking Dead Dead City. So in terms of posting my review for that and stuff, I guess I will have to do Dead City first, and then I will finish my Fear the, Fear the Walking Dead review later on that day. It's going to be a really... Next Thursday is going to be a pretty crazy day, just because we have both shows airing at the same time, and it's going to be a really, really crazy night. Like, they've recently updated Dead City's premiere time, which is going to be at 9 p.m. Eastern now on June 18th, and I guess Fear the Walking Dead is airing right after that. I do see a lot of people saying that this could be an error, on, uh, I guess, I don't know what website this is. Maybe this is AMC+. Plus. It could just be an error. I mean, the thing about it, though, is it's so specific of a time that I don't know if this could be a an error. Unless maybe Talking Dead is premiering at the same time, then I can see that, like, maybe this show, or maybe, maybe the mid-season finale runs until 11.42 p.m., so the episode's an hour and a half. And then that last hour is going to be Talking Dead or something like that. Because for Talking Dead, I mean, I guess the show could be done now with The Walking Dead. But there's been no confirmation that Talking Dead is officially done. Because I think that they will be resuming that for all the spinoff shows. They never really did it for Fear the Walking Dead. Sometimes they did. Um, I think they might do it for the last six episodes, maybe, of Fear. Or for the finale or something like that. But yeah, it does seem like maybe that's what they're planning here for, for the mid-season finale. Or, you know, this episode could just be two and a half hours long. Now, remember, this is including commercials. So realistically, this is probably an hour and 45 minute episode or something like that. So it's basically as long as a movie. And overall, basically means it's an extra episode, right? So instead of six episodes in the first half, we're getting seven episodes. And that's the thing, too, about it. With these spinoffs, with having shorter episodes... That was sort of one of the things that they've talked about a lot is that there might be, or not shorter episodes, but a shorter amount of episodes. Like they've talked about having longer episodes. So while there might not be 16 episodes in a season and there might be six or maybe eight or 10 in the future, the episodes are just going to be longer kind of thing. Maybe not all episodes, but there's just going to be episodes that are just longer. So for me to believe that this is two and a half hours long, honestly, that's not that crazy of a, of a thing. I mean, I still think there could be something a little off with this in terms of maybe um, you know, Talking Dead is attached to it and it is a little bit of a mistake, but if it isn't, I think in terms of where the story is going, it, it makes perfect sense because after this, you have six episodes left to end Fear the Walking Dead. And to be honest, I would prefer this. I would prefer longer episodes than more episodes, right? Longer episodes, I think it's just, it's better in terms of story pacing, and you can really live in the story for a while. It feels like you're watching a movie all the time. It feels like you're having more of an experience. Um, shorter episodes, and then in that sense, you're forced to end arcs, you know, in different ways, or you can't get around to certain parts of the story. You know, it, it, I think it's why sometimes throughout the years, The Walking Dead has just sort of felt a little bit too slow because there were 16 episodes, right? So you have to divide it by eight and then you have to figure out an overall arc, like, a, like an overall arc for the first eight and then the last eight. And then just sort of the overall theme of, of the season. And, you know, sometimes you wouldn't be able to get into stuff right away. And I think shorter episodes... It allows you to get to the stuff that you really care about, the, the stuff that you really want to see quicker. And, um, you know, if you're worried that maybe that's rushing through it, well, just give us longer episodes. Like, the Rick and Michonne show, it's it's only six episodes, but, like, maybe the episodes are going to be longer like this, right? Maybe the finale is two and a half hours long <laughs> again, right? Like, they could do something like that, although it does seem like with where that show is going, there might be a season two. You got to remember, too, like, Stranger Things did something like this, I think, with their last season. I think one of the last episodes was, like, two hours and something long. Like, it was a really long episode, and yes, I did feel the length. It, it was, it did take a while, but... It was fine. Like, I had a fun time watching it. There was nothing wrong with it. And I think if this ended up being the case, you know, I think it's a fun experiment to see how fans overall feel about it. I think it's fine. I personally think it's totally fine. I, I, I want to watch whatever I can. I, like, I don't even watch shows in general right now. So I, I really, I want something to watch. So if this is, if this ends up being two and a half hours long, that's, that's super awesome. 
the, the synopsis, or I guess the title for the episode for Fear the Walking Dead is is called All I See is Red, um, which obviously that that's a little worrisome for Morgan. Uh, the, the synopsis reads, Morgan fights his past as he and Madison race to stop Padre's expansion. So that is, um, I mean, it's interesting. I guess Padre, that we sort of learned that. They are trying to expand everywhere else. I guess they're not really necessarily staying on the island anymore. They just kind of want to branch out to other places. And I guess that's kind of what they're doing right now. We haven't really seen them really in the act of doing that. We just sort of got the tease to that. We haven't seen a lot a lot of that yet. Episode 5 might change that, so we'll have to wait and see. But a lot of that is very general, besides the beginning part. You know, it says Morgan fights his past. That I'm just really, I'm interested in, because... We saw, like we saw in episode four, he fought his past, right? And I I think he did conquer it. I do think he did in the end, he, like he won. He finally did something he's, he was wanting to do for a very long time now. And now he's finally in a place where he can move on. Now, obviously stuff is happening to Grace and there's all of that. Like you can never really be happy for too long on The Walking Dead so or just in The Walking Dead universe. So it's just interesting. Why is he fighting his past? Like what is that all about? I don't know what that means by something coming back from the past unless they mean the past on Fear the Walking Dead. If anything, maybe it's just like Clear Morgan and things like that. Like the reason why I'm wondering, you know, if the two and a half hour length is actually real is, is because like Grace could die right away. She could die in this episode. Um, there might be a lot of stuff that happens here. This might be the episode where Padre's arc is over. Like, they might actually end the Padre arc in this episode. So it makes sense if you're, if you're giving us an episode that's two and a half hours long to end this entire thing, and then the last six episodes you focus on other stuff, you know, I think I would prefer that because I'm not really feeling the Padre arc too much. I do want them to focus more on character stuff and just focus more on the characters and some drama with them. Um, Padre's just sort of been very disappointing, I'd say, as of now. And so uh, the, the episode title, All I See is Red, is kind of exciting because maybe Padre is finally defeated and that's just sort of dealt with. And I guess overall, we would have to view the Padre arc as part of a bigger arc, I guess, because it does sort of connect to like the nuke arc in season seven and then to the end as the beginning arc in season six which kind of connected with the Ginny arc before that in season five, but that's a little separate. Like all of that is a little separate. There was just sort of a introduction of the end of the beginning people arc, but essentially that arc there with Teddy and all of that, that really did begin in season six and is essentially kind of ending with Padre in a way because it's all connected, right? So I think it's perfect. I hope that's what happens. But again, this could literally just be a mistake. And we could literally learn that. Like, we could see in the Fear midseason finale, this arc come to an end. So uh, we'll have to wait and see. I think we'll know after episode five where episode six is likely going to go. Because obviously, like, like, they'll show the trailer. We'll know where the story is. But I just mean more of, like, if episode five ends and it really seems like Padre's not really coming to an end, then maybe that's not going to be the case. So tomorrow's episode is going to give us a lot more clarity on a lot of that. Um, you know, overall, I do think that next Sunday or next, not next Sunday, but like, yeah, June 18th or whatever. I do think that it's going to be a really fun, exciting night. Now I'm going to say, first of all, I don't think there's a lot of people complaining about it, but just in case there are people complaining about it, you know, normally I wouldn't like something like this happening. And what I mean is Fear the Walking Dead has been airing for the last couple of weeks, right? Or I guess the, a month now. And I I would prefer the show that is airing currently to have the, the major time slot and then Dead City, since that show is just starting to premiere, to air right afterwards, right? In this case here, I kind of just agree with it. Like, Dead City is your major show. It's your next big project. You kind of want to air that first. And Fear the Walking Dead, like, it has its loyal fan base. That's, that's not going to leave, right? So it's one of those things where maybe you can have Fear the Walking Dead on right after Dead City, and then people might be interested in that. They might want more Walking Dead. They'll see that it's maybe two and a half hours long, like it could be. And maybe they'll start watching it and start kind of getting invested into the story. And then afterwards, they'll realize, oh, there's only six more episodes left. So that's that's kind of interesting. Because normally I wouldn't like this. Like, I know they've done things like this in the past. And I've definitely, 
I, I've really disagreed with it where they've moved stuff around just to cater to certain shows. Like, I know that sometimes they would have, like, Talking Dead on after, like, certain shows, like Interview with the Vampire or, like, Into the Badlands, right? Like, I remember that being so frustrating because I'd watch The Walking Dead and I'd be really hyped and I'd want to watch Talking Dead, but they would have it on, like, afterwards. And I remember just being a little frustrated by that because I wouldn't end up watching it. I would just kind of miss Talking Dead afterwards. So this is a little different. I do agree with this. I do kind of get it. I, I it, it makes sense as to where they're going in general. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely excited for this. I, I wonder if Strand's going to appear because he's been missing. He could show up in this mid-season finale. I think that would be really cool. Maybe he has a big part in the second half of the season. I mean, he has to. He's literally been gone for... I mean, I guess since the season seven finale, was he in the season seven finale? I don't even remember, but he's been gone for a long time. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna leave it here. Definitely post your thoughts down below. Do you think this episode is two and a half hours long? And if it is, are you okay with that? Or do you have issues with that? Post your thoughts down below. Hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.